we are trying to look at it empirically. Whether it works or not is let the data tell. So that's it. And Bihar is one of the poorest parts of India. It has uh, human development and health indicators that are actually worse than many parts of sub, sub Saharan Africa. For six or seven decades, the government has tried to send in doctors and nurses. It has not worked. Telemedicine tries to take a different uh, approach by saying if doctors from Delhi cannot move to Bihar, we can at least use technology that's available today to connect the patients in Bihar with the doctor sitting in Delhi. So the standard telemedicine setup that we are looking at in Bihar in, in, is um, it's like a large kiosk that is set up in a rural village and you walk in there, there might be no electricity, but there is sometimes a generator or a UPS system of batteries that powers the, the computers. And there's a webcam and that connects the, the telemedicine facility to the central servers in Delhi. Through the webcam, the doctor sitting in Delhi can see the patient and then set up referral networks that patients can follow up on. There's actually very little evidence on whether it works or not, and at what cost, and what the cost effectiveness is, and what the impact on population level health outcomes is. We took that opportunity to modify their implementation plan to turn it into a cluster randomized evaluation, uh, a randomized controlled trial, if you will. We identified treatment areas and control areas and we identified them based on the target locations where these, this NGO would actually go looking for providers. So we found those treatment areas and um, we've now finalized that those are the areas where they'll be working for the next two years and the control area areas where they'll hold off, conduct massive samples of household surveys to understand population level health effects, uh, health outcomes at uh, baseline and then later on at follow up to understand how that's how the program impacted population health.